If you're looking for a creative way to really personalize your Apple Watch even more, stick around as I'm gonna go ahead and show you some third-party apps that will allow you to actually customize your Apple Watch even more, give it some personal touch here and there. But stay tuned for the very end because I'm also gonna go ahead and show you a creative way to really rechange the Apple Watch watch face to some customizable ones like these. These are non-certified from Apple. So yes, Apple will not be pleased about this video, but you will be informed. So if you like to go ahead and take it above and beyond and hack your Apple Watch, it's pretty easy to do so and somewhat reliable. I'll elaborate more in a little bit, but stay tuned because you're in for a nice surprise. Let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off this list with some awesome third-party apps that are my top favorite in terms of being user-friendly and such when it comes to just personalizing your Apple Watch. So this first one is Watch Facely. When you go ahead and open, everything is categorized. So all these like watch faces, different styles, looks you can choose from. So recently added, of course, these are just the recently faces. They just got uploaded. Some that are dedicated to maximize your space, fashion, uh, boohoo. I'm curious on what this one. Oh, so here's like a little sample images on how they look like. So let's go ahead and look at their libraries that they have. There's this one, it has a unique look. We're just gonna go ahead and add it, just an example. And there you guys have it, updates just like that. Now another cool one there is, is this one. Watch Faces by Facer. So this does require us to go on our iPhone to actually go ahead and browse through the library of different watch faces that are available. So go ahead and launch the app. So of course, this is also available on other third-party uh, smartwatches as well, but we're gonna go ahead and go into the Apple Watch. We are on the Series 7. Love the fact that they categorize everything for us. Let it load, and we have all these different designs to choose from. Again, this is like community-inspired too, so people could actually like upload their watch faces and such. Unfortunately, I am on the beta of iOS 16, so sometimes it glitches and it's just not responsive. Let me just go ahead and force quit. There we go, now we're back in business. So we have this cool Inspire one model kit let me go ahead and browse and select some unique ones i could show you but here's like a quick preview on what they like the designs you can select from this one's using again the integrated apple watch watch faces but just creates like a clever like wallpaper specifically designed for our apple watch display so let me go ahead and select one so you have an example so if you're a big smurf fan let's go ahead and just add this one Unfortunately, there is a subscription here, but you can find some of these that are free. But for the purpose of the video, we're just gonna do the trial. So this is $4.99 a month, but don't worry, at the end, I'll show you a free version. But this is a good method if you wanna just keep it safe. So back to the little Smurf one. Let's go ahead and add it to our watch face. Turn all things on. So yeah, it, it does synchronize with your Apple Health app. And there it is, right here. Although the widgets are not loading, but Give it time, once it installs it, our numbers on steps and stuff like that should be popping up right here, like how it shows it right here in the uh, preview image. But again, you don't need to have a subscription service unless you really find one that you really do like, because if you tap on top category and you look up here, there is a free category and the customization that the community develops is really nice and should still achieve the same, very, the same or similar outcome, even Pikachu's in here. Now moving along, another app that's very similar to that one is uh, Buddy Watch. If you go ahead and open it, you can browse through the different community mate watch faces as well here that are unique to the Apple Watch to fit around the bezels and stuff like that. It's basically like custom wallpapers. But if you go on the main app as well, if you go ahead and launch it right here, it gives you a much larger screen to actually like browse through. But again, it's super similar to like the previous app. It just allows you to actually use custom wallpapers designed for your Apple Watch to make it seem like it's something else and you're not using the default ones from Apple. But if you really want to customize your Apple Watch, I highly recommend checking out Clock Allegedly, however you pronounce it. This, it's an actual watch face. And no, this is not like a weird one from Apple or anything like that. This is actually a third party one. And this app is actually free to download. And notice how I actually have the battery life percentage the date, the second timer is actually moving. I got my calories, my heart rate, distance I travel, and my steps all right here on some third-party watch face. So the app, you have to download it on both the Apple Watch and on your iPhone. So when you go ahead and launch it, here you have different styles to select from. So if I like to change to this one, notice I do have customization abilities right here as I can literally change the color to pretty much everything or change things to other things. And if once I'm satisfied with the layout, I could just tap the little up arrow and immediately update to my Apple Watch. Give it a couple of seconds. There we go. So here we have the battery life percentage and such, but it doesn't end there. 
because if we go back, you can actually add some more and custom build some of your very own with text, images, and stuff, and icons. So if you're a creative or Photoshop or something like that, you can actually create some of these things. And if you type the up arrow, you can actually share this too, like this file to like a friend or something like that. Now this app actually has like its own community posts. One of the forums that's popular is the one on Facebook. And you have a bunch of creators sharing their designs and stuff like that. So if you browse through there, you'll find a design that you like. Just unfortunately, the only way to have access to capability to actually up take files from online and upload to your device, you have to make sure that you enrolled your app, Clockology, to the beta profile, which I'll have a link in the video description down below. So if we actually go into Safari, go ahead and click on the URL in the video description down below. It's safe. Trust me, I've done it already on my personal device. Download it to your main device. Let it download. Go into your download section. Click on it, and boom, just like that, it will automatically take us back to the app. This will actually automatically set the app to the beta mode, and uh, now you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and go on Facebook or something and download one. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera real quick and download a watch face that I find on Facebook real quick. So using the AirDrop, I'll manage to take the link from the Facebook desktop link URL to my iPhone. So I just paste it on Safari. I'm gonna go ahead and download it. Download, complete. Go into downloads. Here it is. Let it load and uh, give it a couple of seconds. Ooh, it may not be working because I'm on the beta. Give me a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and switch devices. Uh, never mind. It did actually work. Uh, I guess it just glitches due to the fact I am on the beta, but it, it was able to be sent from the app to my Apple Watch. And yes, uh, here it is. Look at it. Now, this is definitely a custom made watch face. Just the only con is I, I do lose the ability to actually move the watch face like you typically would with the normal version of this watch face on the Series 7. So it doesn't allow you to do that, but it does rotate depending on the time, which is quite neat and definitely unique. I could always just long press and have the capability to actually modify like my calories and stuff like that here. And if I'm listening to music with my Apple Watch, I still have access to the music playlist right here or the, mu the music controls, I should say, and tap the back arrow to quickly go back up. But if I like to go back to a previous watch face, I just simply just slide down underneath and it will just quickly switch between the previous Apple Watch watch faces I have selected. And if I'd like to go ahead and remove one, I just simply long press and tap the trash icon and now it's gone. So I could continue to add more to my Apple Watch app right here. But now there is one important setting you have to be aware of. So to give you a quick recap how this app works is the app itself has to be launched. So it has to constantly be running for you to actually like have this watch face stay on. Just the important setting you have to adjust is the wake time. Because once you do this, it's going to turn off. It's just gonna close that app. But if you like to go ahead and keep it on and make sure it stays on, you have to actually go on your main device on your iPhone, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do right now. So this part on your Apple Watch app, just go into general, and then just go down to where you find return to watch. Scroll down to the application right here, Clockology. By default, it should be on custom, at least mine was, but you tap custom if it's not, and then select after the first hour. So now, whenever we actually have our watch like on idle and stuff, let it close or shut off the screen. And if it turns back on, it's gonna resume. So it's not gonna go back to the default watch face. Now the only con, there's no always on display on this thing. So you do lose your always on display capability if that's something you use daily. And then if you like to get access to like another watch app, you have to actually exit with the digital crown. But you can always use the uh, power button right here to go back to your app switcher and quickly launch it like so. But there you guys have it. That is basically some creative way to really customize your Apple Watch. The community is massive. You can always go on Facebook on your main device too, on your iPhone. You don't have to go on your desktop. Just for my experience, the desktop method always works for me. And I just use AirDrop to like paste the link on my Safari URL as you just saw how I did it earlier. But yeah, I have the link to the Facebook page, the community where people actually post these custom ones. So you can actually join and browse through it and find some awesome ones that best suits your personality. But aside from that, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you got some good useful information out of this video. If you did, you know what to do. I'd really appreciate if you actually leave this video a like as those help me out a lot and get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. If you'd like to go ahead and watch more, feel free to check out that video over there as that is a video where I go through a hundred plus amazing hidden settings, hidden features that the Apple Watch can do that I bet you didn't know about. And the video over there, that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.